Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will understand a C program in which we will take a character from the user and if that character is in uppercase, we will convert that into lowercase and similarly, if that is in lowercase, we will convert that into uppercase. So in this program, the valid input will be alphabets and all the rest of the characters like at the rate, hash, any digit, it will be non-valid input. So our output screen will look like this. We will be asked to enter a character and let's say we enter small b. So our program should convert that small b into capital letter that is uppercase form and we will be told that uppercase form is this capital B. Similarly, if we are given capital B as the input, then our program should output small b as the output that is capital B should be converted into the lowercase character. And if we enter any invalid character, for example, at the rate or hash or any digit, then we should get the output as invalid character because all these characters cannot be converted into uppercase or the lowercase. They have only one form. So our program should handle all the invalid cases also. So I hope you have understood the question. Now let's see the logic for this question. So as we discussed, only the alphabets can be in the uppercase form or the lowercase form. Let's say we have a variable ch of type care and it stores the input character. So the user will enter the character inside the ch. So let's say we have capital A and then we should be printed small a as we discussed and user can also enter some small letters. For example, small b, then our program should print capital B that is the uppercase form. So here if we observe before converting a character ch into the uppercase or the lowercase first task is we have to detect whether my character which is present inside this ch is in uppercase or the lowercase and then accordingly I can proceed for the conversion process. So the question is how to detect whether my character which is present inside ch is in uppercase or the lowercase. So for this detection of the uppercase or the lowercase character I have made a separate video in which I have discussed this program. So I would recommend that you watch that video because the program discussed in that video is actually the basis for this program. So just to recall, you know that every character in C has a sky value that is an integer value associated with them. So capital A has sky value 65, capital B has 66 and so on. Likewise, small a has a sky value 97 and so on. So for a human being, it is easy to distinguish between the uppercase and lowercase just by seeing them. But the C compiler make use of this sky value internally to distinguish between the uppercase and the lowercase form. So now let's say you have capital A as the input character and this is uppercase form. So you want to convert this into small a. So the C compiler will treat this capital A as 65 internally. Now for C compiler, this capital A is actually an integer value that is 65. So basically you want to convert this 65 into this 97 that is in the lowercase a. Likewise, if you have capital B that is you have the character having a sky value 66, you want to convert this 66 into this 98 that is small b. Now if you see the difference between this 65 and 97, you will see that there is a difference of 32 between them. Likewise, the difference between 66 and corresponding 98 will be 32. So that means the difference between the uppercase sky values and the lowercase character sky value is 32. So we will make use of this 32 for conversion between the uppercase and lowercase form. So here is our pseudocode. We have input the character inside the ch and if you see by this logic, we have first checked whether my ch is in the range of capital A to capital Z. What does that mean? It means that ch is a uppercase character if that ch is in this capital A to capital Z range. So for example, ch can be like capital B, then capital B lies between capital A to capital Z or you can say a sky value of capital B lies between the 65 to 90. So in that case, if this is true, then we are converting that into lowercase. And if that ch is not a uppercase character, then it can be a lowercase character also or it can be an invalid input. So here we are checking, okay, that character can be in small a to small z range. That means that character may be a lowercase character. If it is yes, then we are converting that into the uppercase character. And let's say if ch is not a lowercase character also, then we are finally saying, okay, that character is actually an invalid input. So let's say our ch is storing capital B as the input. Now this capital B is a uppercase character. 
So that means this condition will be true. Here we are adding 32 inside this ch variable. That means we are saying character b plus 32. So what is character b? Character b means 66 and then we are adding 32. And why we are adding 32? Because the sky value of this capital B is 66 and we want to reach where? We want to reach at 98. So we have to add 32 into this 66 and now it will be 98. So this will give me 98 and here when I will write the program, I will just convert this 98 into the character using percentile C and I will be getting small b as the output and let's say our ch is storing small b so small b has sky value 98 so i want to reach to 66 why because small b has to be converted to capital b that is into the uppercase character so here if i subtract 32 from 98 what i will get i will get 66 that is capital b so that means if my character is a lowercase character then i am saying then i am saying that print ch minus 32 that is i am subtracting the value now you may get confused that where to add 32 and where to subtract 32 so that means you may forget the sky value of these capital letters and the small letters so you can remember in this way let's say this is capital a so you can say capital means big so big character has a small value that is 65 whereas the corresponding a smaller case let's say we have a small a so a smaller character has larger value that is 97 so in this way you can remember that which character has the sky value starting from 97 and which character has the sky value starting from 65 and then it will be easy to remember that where to subtract 32 and where to add 32 so we will be making this program using three ways first way will be we will use nested if else second method will be we will use else if and third method will be a bonus tip I will tell you that method at the end of the video so stay with me till the end of the video now before moving forward let's see the flowchart for this program so here we have taken the character inside the ch and with this condition we are checking for the uppercase so if my ch is between this capital a to capital z range then that means i will come to this true path and i will say that print the lowercase form and how i am printing so as i told you you will add 32 with the input character and let's say if the character inside the ch is not in the uppercase then i will come to this false path and i will say i have two choices so what are those two choices my character can be in the lowercase or it can be a invalid input so i will first check whether my character is in the small a to small z range that is it is a lowercase character or not so if it is a lowercase character for example a small b so for small b i will come to this true path and then i will be printing that uppercase form will be ch minus 32 that is i am converting that character into the uppercase character and then i will stop and let's say if the character is not a valid input for example you have at the rate inside ch so the sky value of at the rate will not lie between this range so i will come to false and again the sky value of at the rate will not lie between this small a to small z so again i will come to this false path and i will say that my character is a invalid input and then i will stop so now let's see the program using nested if else so here is our program so we first input the character using scan f and here i have used percentile c to scan that character so my character is stored inside this ch variable now i am checking using the if condition whether my ch is a uppercase character so in case of character being the uppercase this if condition will be true and then what i have to do i have to convert this ch into the lowercase character that means i am adding this 32 value so this ch plus 32 will give me the lowercase corresponding character for this uppercase character so i am printing using percentile c so whatever the sky value i am getting from here i am saying print that using percentile c so i will get the character not the sky value so let's say if i enter capital b inside cs so this ch plus 32 will give me the small b and i am printing using percentile c and then i will come to return zero now let's say the character inside cs is a small b that is a lowercase character so this if will be false and i will come to else now inside else i have two choices so i will first check whether that character is a lowercase so if that character is a lowercase small b is a lowercase 
So I will convert that into the uppercase by subtracting 32 from CH. Let's say I entered an invalid character. For example, I entered at the rate. So inside CH, I will be storing at the rate. So at the rate will have not a sky value between this capital A to capital Z. So I will come to else. And again, the sky value will not be lying between this small a to small z. So I will come to else and I will say, okay, now you are an invalid input. I will say invalid input for the at the rate. And then finally, I will come to return zero. So I hope you have understood this approach. So now let me run this program. So let's say we enter capital B. So we got lowercase form small b. And let's say if you enter small d, that is a lowercase character. So I should get capital D. So yes, we are getting uppercase form capital D. And now let's say you enter at the rate. That is, it is an invalid input. So yes, I am getting invalid input. So now we will make this program using else if. Now in this program, if we see, there are actually three conditions. My input character can be in the uppercase or it can be in the lowercase or it can be an invalid input. So we will not change this if condition. We will keep it as such and we will mix this else and if together and we will make this else if so here i have written the program using else if so first condition is checking for the uppercase second condition that is else if is checking for the lowercase character and third condition is default condition that is it is saying okay if the character is not the uppercase not the lowercase then print the invalid input so there were no big such changes so let me run this program so let's say if i run small g so small g will be converted to capital G, yes. And if I enter, let's say capital G, so it is giving me lowercase format will be small g. And if I enter at the rate, so it is saying invalid input. So now finally, it's time for the bonus step. So till now, we have actually manually checked whether my character is a uppercase or a lowercase. And then we have added 32 and subtracted 32 to convert them into uppercase and the lowercase. So instead of manually checking all these things, we can use the predefined or the inbuilt C library functions. So we have these four functions which we will be using in our program now. Now the declaration of these functions is actually present in a header file called ctype.h. So to use these functions, we have to include this header file in our C program. So now let's see how these functions actually works. So this is the prototype for the is upper function. So each upper function takes an integer parameter and it returns an integer value. And what is the work of this function? So this function checks whether the character that is passed to it as an argument, it is in uppercase or not. So if the passed character is actually a uppercase character, then it will say yes. And it will actually return an integer value, a positive integer value. So it can be like 1, 2, 3 and so on depending on your compiler. And if that character is not in the uppercase, then it this function will return 0. Similarly, is lower function checks whether the character that is given to it as an argument is in lowercase or not. So like is upper function, this function also return a value greater than 0 if the character that is passed to it is a lowercase character. And it returns 0 if it is not. So both is upper and is lower function are actually checking for the uppercase character or the lowercase character. Now two upper and two lower function are actually conversion function. So this is the syntax for the two upper function. So as the name suggests, this function will take a character in the lowercase form and it will convert that lowercase into uppercase format. So let's say if you pass a small a as the input to this function, then it will return capital A, that is the uppercase format. And if you let's say give it capital A, that is a uppercase character, so it will return the same character because the uppercase format of this capital A will be uppercase one. And what about if you enter let's say plus, so plus is not an alphabet, so in that case it will again return that only plus as the output. So that means if a lowercase character is passed, it will convert it into uppercase Otherwise, it will return the same character that you have passed to it. In the similar manner, two lower function converts a uppercase character which is passed to it as an argument into lowercase character. And this function also works in the similar manner as two upper was working. So let's say if you give capital A, so it will give me a small a as the output. And let's say if you enter any lowercase character or any non-alphabet, so it will return the same character that you have passed. Now you may be thinking that the argument that are passed to all these functions are of type int but we are passing a character so actually as you know the character has a sky value that is an integer value associated to them so while we are passing the character to this is upper function or any of these four function the character is replaced by the sky value 
of that particular character and here when we are saying that we will get the character as the output so actually we will be getting the sky value of the corresponding character so we can print that character as by using percentile c so that we can print the output so let's see how these four function will be helping in our program so inside if i will replace this using a function and inside else if also i will replace this using a function next is i will replace this ch plus 32 and ch minus 32 using the function i will use here is upper function which can tell me whether my character is in the upper case or not so i have written is upper of ch so if my character is a upper case character then this function will return me a value greater than zero so it can be one two three and any value so in that case this will be true so either i can keep it as, as such or i can just write that greater than zero so both the things are okay so let's say if i enter capital a as the input so this upper function will return me any value greater than zero so this con whole condition will be true and i will come to this print tab and i will say lower case form is this one now instead of the ch plus 32 i can use a function which function should i use for the conversion so here as i have to change it to lower case form so i will use two lower function so this function is actually internally doing the same thing that is ch plus 32 now in the same way i can use the other two functions also so here i have used the is lower function and here i have used the two upper function to convert the character into uppercase form so whatever the answer that two upper function will be returning i am printing it using the percentile c so that i can get the corresponding character as the output so now you need not to return that whole condition like ch is greater than small a or capital z or something and all so now this makes our program look very readable so let me run this program now so here i am getting the compile time error it is saying implicit declaration of function this and this so yeah i have not used the c type dot h header file so now i have included so let me run it again so let's say i enter capital d so yes i am getting a small d as the output and let's say if you enter small h so i am getting capital h and if you enter let's say hash so you should get invalid input so yes so i think you have understood all the approaches that we have discussed and how we actually solve this program using the different approaches so that's all for this video and if you want to practice more such practice problems in c language then you can check my playlist on my channel and the playlist name is practice problems in c language so there you will find a lot of practice problems you can try them and you can find the answers and the solution of those problems also you can also check my other playlist like c programming for beginners and top interview questions for embedded companies and other companies so if you have any comment query or suggestion please write down in the comment box and if you are new to my channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon also see you in the next video till then goodbye